Since you're a journalist, you must be here to investigate the merits of Arthur's accusations. Yes, I read the papers. I like to keep myself misinformed. Do you know what makes his lies so convincing? The small amount of truth he uses. Yes, light matter caused hair loss and other minor side effects. But I solved all of that with the mineral decontaminators. And what did Arthur do? He poisoned our employees, exaggerating those side effects in his crusade to destroy me. Jealousy can be so ugly. It can be so all-consuming. It consumed our partnership, it consumed our friendship, and it almost destroyed this entire facility. This looks complicated. I'm kind of immediately losing track of even where I'm trying to go. If I even knew or where I came from. It's a dizzying building. Okay. Okay. So it does rotate, but it only rotates back and forth between two spots. So loot, use your lights accordingly. Journalist, Arthur's poison project severely damaged morale. My employees weren't just losing their hair, they were losing their identity. So besides installing the decontaminators, I ordered a container full of wigs. It was a success. Everyone started using them, except me. I don't try to cover up facts. So it caused hair loss. Let's see. You need to stay open, but I'm not using you right now. That's far enough back, but then I can't get through there. That'll be fine. That's a problem for later, me. Or now, me. Nope, I made it. Cool, it stayed lit. Just barely. Now all the lamps are on the inside. Do you know how I lost my leg? Before the facility, Arthur and I were climbing this mountain as it started shifting around us. The quakes mangled my leg beyond recognition, and that coward left me there to die. But I went deeper into the mountain and came back with a photon crystal. Add that to your article. No. Almost walked into the darkness. You ever wonder how I got these scars? Bit proud of himself, isn't he? Still, only hearing one side of the story. And everything he could, he's saying right now could all be lies. So, journalist, you will soon be out of here. But before you write a hit piece about the quote-unquote deadly shadows of light matter, let's get the facts straight. The shadow anomalies are not spreading beyond the facility. They are local to the core. Also, we have had countless test runs on the core before today, and there have never been any signs of shadow anomalies. There is a simple explanation for that. You see, my engineers desperately strive to impress me. So during the launch event, one of them turned up the core's energy output. Understand, for every 100 megawatts I spend powering the core, I normally receive 107 megawatts. And today, that number increased to 111 megawatts. But I 
take full responsibility for my engineer's wrongdoing. I'm finding a solution, and he's finding a new career. Actually, he's probably dead. Actually, he's probably dead. So I needed one light to get me through here, and one light to, sh to keep that open, so the door opens. So, we'll do that later. First, I need to figure out how to navigate the rest of the level around me. Elevator. Okay. Hmm. Nice wide angle. Except, can I climb up this? I can. Okay. Not an obstacle. Good to know. Very useful. What was that? When you write about these shadows, be mindful of the words you choose. What changes nuclear power from a weapon to an energy source? Words. Think about that, journalist. I'm thinking about how to live right now. Rather distracting, if I'm being honest. What was down here before I moved that? Nothing. So I guess I'm just opening a window. No, I, I can't put it up there like in some games. You see that picture? My employees had a joke once. They made a poster that named James as the employee of the month. I liked the idea, so I had a bigger one printed. How is that a joke? There's just a barrier in the way, so you can't light it up. So, but you need to get the, one of these lamps over there, basically, to continue. That elevator is light powered, which means you means you can't get two things in there. So only one light can be upstairs, because this thing's lit, lit lit by a light. So that light has to be on this side of the stage. I don't know, am I mistaken? Can I pick you up from here? There's no crouching button. lines up with here. Why do I care? Oh, I was thinking about how to light a light out that window, but the window doesn't actually line up with the spot I'm trying to light up. you must admit that the shadow anomalies are fascinating. Think about the applications. Organic waste disposal, mold removal, pest control. The possibilities are endless. So instead, that's what the window's for.
Hmm. I'm still not entirely sure how that's useful. How do I get out with a lamp? Oh, keep pointing Walking at it. sideways with a lamp. Clever solution. For a journalist. Okay, this guy's like a little overbearing. He's just a lot. He's not really glad it's funny, but he talks a lot. Still need to get further. Yep. Where am I? Okay. Ah. I can use the remaining light through the window to stand in. Those pencil stroke outlines look neat. Everything looks very sketchy. The raw darkness element of it reminds me of a. Uh, Scanner somber, even though that's not really the same aesthetic. There we are. The entrance to research and development. I know that you're eager to explore more of light matter technologies, but you overstayed your welcome long ago. If it's any consolation, I'll let you write an exclusive about me. How does that sound? Just remember that non-disclosure agreement we discussed. Also, you are trespassing, and I have a legion of lawyers. There's a wig, like they said. Everyone's wearing wigs to pretend to still have hair. This person get eaten? Does, does it eat you? But leave your clothes? There's two shoes, there's two gloves, there's a wig, and there's... A shirt. Like everything that's left of them. Aha. Uh -huh. I bet that's where I actually end up going once this elevator doesn't work, because the game's not actually over yet, probably. So many incomplete, unfinished burgers and sandwiches. Are you going to open that, sir? I guess we're just not acknowledging that elevator. Just upstairs. Listen, I know that I mentioned lawyers earlier. It's just that a man like me needs to be careful. I understand the need for journalists, be 
people in power need to be held accountable. I'm no exception. I just hope you're fair when you write about me. Yep. Didn't mean to go that far forward. So you can't shine them at each other because this whole chunk of wall is just all messy and bad. That looks really cool and it's backlit. Journalist, here's something for your exclusive. As you can probably imagine, I was a smart child. I built a calculator when I was seven and made it solar powered when I was eight. But the most I could ever get from my father was a half-hearted grunt of acknowledgement. Some would call that neglect. I call that motivation. Journalist, I'm actually was abused as a child and that's why all this is happening and now you can't be mad at me that's how that works obviously journalist ah that wasn't really bad and i wasn't entirely sure what to expect from it You see, if you have daddy issues, no one's allowed to get mad at you. Obviously. Meanwhile, the rest of society's like, get in line. Hi, where'd you come from? You know. Oh, it keeps going in a loop. Unexpected, but okay. These platforms, they move fast, don't they? I have James race them. It forces my security manager to be in top physical condition. You see, I nurture the talents of my employees. He's in damage control, like, really hard. He's afraid. I haven't even written a single word yet, and the power of my journalism is making him tremble. Tremble before my journalism. <laughs> Hi. Good. Y'all broke the terminal. Why is everything so broken around here? Listen, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but without me, you would be lost forever. So here's an idea for your front page. Leader shows me the light in a moment of darkness. Write it down. It did light the area up, but it's not really a solution because I can't get over there now. <sighs> Right? Maybe this is a dead end. Hmm. 
No, I can't get it. Um, game? Help? Okay, that'll, that'll kind of work. Not unsolvable yet. I can go back to trying to get this part figured out now. Ah. Neither of them were on the buttons. Why was I stuck again? I'm not totally sure why I was stuck. I got hung up on something. But... I don't know. I think I was thinking about how I'm gonna get past this broken terminal. But it seems like less of a problem now. But I may have trouble getting this thing off of the spot. Yeah. Now that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Is incredibly bitter. Don't let me die. Fuck. This got complicated. Let's see. <sighs> How the fuck do I get over there? I need a light pointing... So for starters, I need a light pointing here, like that one, to make this platform survivable. But then I need to be able to point this light at there, so I can go interact with the button to bring the lights towards me and so on. And also eventually turn one over there. I... I don't know, I'm trying to think about it. Uh, this idea doesn't work. I was thinking, like, I could put this on here. And it should be safe. Because they're pointing at each other so the whole hallway stays lit, but they took this button away, so I can't just do that to bring it here. Rotate this this way so it doesn't destroy me. But I can't. I. Uh, my brain's breaking a little bit on this one. 
It's like I need to pull them towards me by being over there and pressing that button. So that platform has to be lit so I survive. When I do that, I can't get this light because it's too far away because they don't, they're not wide enough angles, so I can't pick it up. I need the light of the other lamp. I need the la light of lamp B to pick up light A, otherwise you can't walk up to it. Meanwhile, I can't even change the direction that lamp is facing, because if I do, then I can't stand here, because this whole area will be deadly. Like, this is like the only way to get over here. But this doesn't work. I can't get it now. I'm completely trapped. And the only remaining function is for me to press this button and die. Not an easy one. Alright. Alright. I'm missing something. I need to go that way, so I need to light. Point the light at the thing! And then... Shrug? <laughs> I need you to come over here, but I need this light here. Hang on. Ah, shit. Is that it? <laughs> Just make one of the lights not move. Oops. Totally thought the other one was on the, the elevator. Or... The uh, platform. I admire the way you solve problems. You always see them from so many different perspectives. It gives me hope that you will see things from mine. You don't seem to be big on other people's perspectives. You only care about things that help you. And only compliment things that help you. It's kind of like how humans... How, like, people tend to perceive the intelligence of creatures based on their obedience. And so dogs often get a lot of credit, which they deserve. But things that are... Uh, but other smart creatures don't get the credit because they're not as obedient as dogs, and that's not fair. Especially since we bred dogs to specifically be obedient and so on. I mean, they did it some of it themselves. They were they were very friendly creatures that got along with us well before a lot of the neotenization. But they uh, are now neotenized and are especially helpful in that way. No, I hit, I hit the doorway. Well done, journalist. When you meet James, ask him to check the time and tell him that I won. <laughs> See you on the other side. Go talk to James and tell him that I won. See about that. But I saw a body slumped over on the computer. That would have been sad. Did I get lost? No, my goal is to go in that room. Is there like a broken window somewhere? Wait, did it just get turned around? What's happening?
No walking. Oh, here we go. I'm sure it'll work great. Tell you when to stop. We start heading back. What could go wrong? These are some tall ass vents. They're as tall as me. I'm just standing up. That's kind of nuts. I just snuck into Arthur's office and it's worse than I thought. Arthur is trying to sabotage light matter. It's not just poisonings. I found the schematics for his experiment on the core. He's not trying to improve it. He's trying to overload it. If he manages to do that, we are all going to die. I am not going to let Arthur ruin our future. I have to get to Virgil. Arthur is after me. Whoever finds this, if it's not too late, tell Virgil that Arthur needs to be stopped. Is it is that not the same room I was just in? It is the same room I was just in. We're gonna have to go back through it. I think they're trying to emulate Ratman's scribblings, but it's like incomprehensible. Huh. 